This is an Inside Newport News update. A date has been set. Jim's local market opens in May. Good morning. Good morning. Good Welcome. Morning, Jim. How's it? Oh, good. Welcome to Jim's local market. It was another big day for the Southeast community and city leadership of Newport News as we got our first look at the city's newest grocery store. Well, welcome to Jim's local market. We're getting there. You are standing in produce right now. As you walk in the doors, what we're trying to do is make the focal point of the store produce. Coolers over there will all be produce. Local community leaders were treated to a sneak peek of the highly anticipated Jim's local market in the new Brooks Crossing development in the Southeast community. Well, of course, there's so much excitement for me today to see us on the brink of being able to cut the ribbon on our brand new grocery store. Not only the benefits from people being able to get fresh food from the market, but also the jobs that this grocery store have, will have created for this community. The store is being built by Newport News in conjunction with the city's Economic Development Authority. The city will own the grocery store and lease it back to Jim Scanlon, who was chosen by the city to run the facility. All right, this is the uh, produce cooler in uh, It'll be a little chillier once we get operating here. <laughs> this is something that I've been planning for uh, quite a while. The city council and the uh, uh, EDA and the city manager have been very supportive of uh, understanding that there's a need uh, that wasn't being filled. And uh, I, my, my business plan was to operate in areas that have limited food access. This is the dairy department right here. And the first few doors along the side are all dairy. And then the last eight doors are beer conventional supermarket, but we're really focused on fresh produce. And uh, we'll have a deli, our full deli department, full bakery department, uh, as well as meat department. But uh, produce will be the first thing that you see when you come into the store. And our intention is to have the freshest uh, produce there. We'll focus on local produce as well. We have relationships with the farmers in Virginia. So I think as we move forward, uh, we're really going to try to explore even getting more local produce in. So this is the produce cooler. And as I mentioned before, we're walking past the deli, deli bakery cooler to the side. The Southeast community is home to almost 20,000 people and have been without a full-service grocery store for almost two years. We're excited about Mr. Jim Scanlon, who has come to our community. He saw a need, and then he was willing to come and to try to make this happen. We're going to have three different pods here. One, uh, the first two will be where you can buy sandwiches and uh, salads and, and things like that. The third one will be actually the fresh salad bar itself. We were able to see what the community room is going to look like. We're able to be able to see what the bank is going to look like and talk to that person to hear what services are going to be provided in the bank itself. And so being able to see the spaciousness of the store was an opportunity that I, I, I'm just glad that we had an opportunity to be a part of that. And I think the piece about um, the community room, uh, because I have some ideas of some things I want to uh, have community meetings about, and that it will be some free space for our citizens to be able to learn more financial literacy. Uh, the partnership with Bayport, I think it's important to help more people in the community understand about finances and to um, understand about dealing with the bank and not just having your uh, money at home, the, what they call mattress money at home, but to be able to deal with the financial institution to help us create more wealth. The other key part about the relationship with Bayport too is we're going to, uh, uh, we'll, we'll pay people obviously on a weekly basis, but it, the, our pay will be through a debit system as well. So people that have not had a bank account before will get a bank account to uh, start up. So all of our associates will have the ability to get a, a bank account. So we're going to provide career opportunities with people to learn how to run a grocery store. Uh, and there's a lot that goes into that. There's uh, food safety, there's food prep, uh, there's logistics, uh, there's analysis. There's a lot of things that you learn when you're working in a uh, grocery store. So providing jobs is, a, is, a, is, a, is definitely a priority. Um, but as we uh, move forward, I think providing better food choices for people. Uh, we have a community room in the, in the store. And, and my hopes is that that's bringing people from the community to meet in the store. Food is a, is a gathering point for people. So if we can have people come into the store, feel comfortable in the store, uh, I think that'll be a very successful partnership. City Manager Jim Borey announced during the tour that the market will open on May 10th.
Obviously, the community is extremely excited about Jim's local market opening. This has been really a labor of love for so many people. There's been a tremendous amount of hard work. I wanted to really especially thank the city council for their support. Throughout this whole process, they've taken major steps for the commitment of the city to actually build this grocery store that will make such a difference in the community. The staff of the development department has been phenomenal, really looking after this project, pushing it, making sure that it's going to be done in a very timely fashion. And certainly I want to extend a great appreciation to Jim Scanlon for what he has already done to bring this community together to make a difference with this grocery store. I think it's going to be a spectacular asset for the community, one that will be very much embraced and uh, one that will, for many, many years, be just a tremendous focal point for this community. And we just believe that this is one more thing that's going to help revitalize our community. We know that this is one of many things that are going to help change this community. It's, it's, it's unique, so uh, I think it's just going to be a unique store. Oh, hey, thanks for being here. That was awesome. Appreciate it. God, that's nice. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. cool.